Hey everyone, and welcome back to Indicted TV. I'm your host, Negra. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and follow us on Instagram. Got to give a shout out to my sponsors, Royalty Honey. Keep it hard, guys. And if you don't want to be on my channel, you want to stay home, make sure you hire attorney Rosenberg. On today's episode, we have Shane. Welcome to Indicted TV, Shane. Hi, thank you for having me. Of course. Hey, how was your drive? Because it is super pouring outside. When I came in, it wasn't like this. But coming up here, yes, it yeah. was. Yeah. It was nice when we came in California. But when yeah. you came into California, you guys heard that, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm here. You had to make sure I'm you said that. I'm here in California, that. yeah. <laughs> so tell me, Shane, where you're from, where you grew up, mom, uh -huh. dad, brother, sisters, the inside okay. of your house. Um, sure. I mean, I'm uh, I'm, uh, I'm originally from Arizona. Okay. Tucson, Arizona. That's okay. that's where I'm from. And um, yeah, I, just, I don't know. I don't even know where to start, honestly. You, did you grow up with your mom, your dad, um, you know, your brothers, sisters? Yeah, so I have I have uh, both both my parents. My dad's from the Philippines. Oh, nice. And uh, my mom's Mexican. My mom's from uh, Nogales. Okay. And um, uh, I was out of the house at, at a young age. Yeah, super I was young. young. Super young, yeah. Yeah, super young. So that I'm a system baby. I grew okay. up in the system. Okay. Yeah. Because of you wanted to? No. No, not because I wanted to. Uh, I grew up in, like, I don't know. Like our home was. That's what I'm asking. Yeah, yeah. Like, how was the inside of your house? Like. Oh yeah, it was. Um. So uh, my my dad he was real he was aggressive. My dad was like I think that's why I came out like this. But my dad he was you know as we call it back in the day we call it being a man. So and I'm the oldest boy of my brothers. So I I kind of got the most. Okay. You know what I mean the most aggression. And then my mom she's she's kind of like uh, she's diagnosed like meant she's not you know okay. all the way through you know what I mean and we also got disabled brothers and okay. so our house was real kind of and we grew up in the neighborhoods okay. so I grew up around you know all that violence gangs I grew up around all that so got it. and especially in the home the home was a lot of you know brokenness so yeah, yeah. especially you're saying your dad was really mm -hmm. aggressive yeah, so yeah 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 you didn't see anything else yeah then nothing from from beginning I, like as far as I can remember being a little kid and then all the way till now like yeah that's the, all I remember is being that young yeah Okay, so um, so tell me, uh, you said you grew up like in like, <coughs> homes and different homes uh -huh. or in the system. Uh -huh. um, what happened that they took you away from your family, if you don't mind? So and what uh, and how old were you? So um, when I, when I left my house, I was probably like twelve years old. Okay. So I was gonna get adopted by one of my my tias, and uh, we never it didn't because everything happened so fast that it didn't go through. So they were trying to get us out of there. And then um, I ended up um, catching a case. At, so when I left, I was living with a lot of, I was house hopping. I was staying so with, young. I was staying with my homeboys and their moms embraced us. Cause they were like, they knew how we grew up. So you know how the moms are. They, I see, and yes. They're all nice to their sons and you know, they're all cooking for them. And we'd come over there like, oh me, oh come in. They, they love the shit out of us. <sighs> so we, we would go over there, but you know, I, I ended up catching a case at like 13 years old. So that's so what, you, that from that, it took me. That's okay. where that's where it all started. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I get it. So tell me, what did what was your case for at twelve years old? Thirteen. Thirteen years 13 old. Thirteen years old. Um, it was a it was a drive by. It was across the, the street from a middle school that we went to. Oh wow! And it was on um, it was you know some some crips were trying to jump me. Oh, uh, so you basically you were protecting yourself vibes. Pretty much, yeah. We'll see. Yeah, I was young, whatever. I mean, you were, you know, you, you got in trouble for the year. You were a baby, like Man. 13 years old. When I, okay, at the time, it was normal. Like, you know, everybody's bad. But looking back at it now, if I see a 13-year-old now, I'm like, damn, that fool's, like, he's playing video games. He's, like, eating cookies and just, he's like a normal little kid. I'm mm -hmm. like, damn, what the what? No, it's definitely different yeah, times. Yeah, uh, different times. Yeah, and I look, yeah, it's crazy. Different times. And sometimes if it's the, if it's in the kid, it's in the kid. There's mm -hmm. nothing that you could do about it. Yeah, yeah. You know, they just have to go through what they have to go through. Mm -hmm. So tell me, you, know, you got arrested? Yeah. And you went to juvenile hall. And how was that experience for you? So when Tell they, me about the process. Shit, when they took me in, um, I was so young to the system. I didn't really know anything about the system or like how it played out. So when they, everybody knew who I was at the time, they knew I did it. So everybody told on me, we're all little kids, you know? And, um, and when, they, when the, uh, I went to the house and uh, my sister was like, I told my sister, I was like, hey, I just, you know, I just blasted at some fools. And she's like, shut the fuck up. And I go, no, for real. They'd like literally like five minutes later, the police are all, you know, 
hitting the doors down, like looking for me. And um, honestly, when they came looking for me, they asked, I was like proud in a way when I did it. So they were like, you did it? And I was like, I was like, yeah. So like, you, I didn't know, like, I didn't know that so to say. So you just literally nothing. told on yourself. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I told on myself. <laughs> and did you, was anybody hurt? Um, no, no, no. Oh, thank hurt. God, yeah. right? Because then you probably wouldn't be here. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <clears throat> okay. So they took you in. They took me to the juvenile, but the juvenile wouldn't accept me because it was like, a, the well, when they saw I was... I was 13, I was little. I was a little ass boy. So when they took me in, he had to call like his lieutenant and was like, um, like what do we do? Like, you know, what do we, he's like, you gotta bring him in, you know, you gotta take his ass in. He's, he did a, you know, he did a charge. So, um, but one thing I do remember that stands out is that cop, dude, he was nice as hell to me. Like he, nice. he liked me, like he was like he was genuinely like, he saw brokenness. Like when he looked at me, he was nice. Like he was just telling me it's gonna be all right. He's like, don't. Worry. I didn't care. I was just like, you know. And uh, he walked me all the way as far as he could into the jails, and you know, like oh, he was just being like real respectful and real nice to me. I remember that. I remember that stood stood out to me. But yeah, he took. They took me to the adult jail, the Pima County Jail. And oh, um, so they had to take you to the adult. Yeah, jail. they take you to the adults. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you didn't go to the juvenile, huh? No, I didn't go to juvenile. So you were in adult jail since you were 13, obviously, yeah. but you were like in a the separate... Ju the separate section, yeah, yeah. Oh, the juvenile section. Was there section. other kids that were like your age? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, so there were more. <laughs> they that were is so worse. crazy that they didn't send you to juvenile halls. Oh, they don't mm. have juvenile halls over there or something? They do, but not if it's like a, if you're catching like felonies and, you know, you're like murders, attempted murders, like oh, shootings, wow. like stuff like that. Maybe they're not prepared for them fools, huh? Who? What do you mean? In Arizona. No, no, that's why they have that. They oh. they got the section. This called so, like I ended up going to a like a juvenile prison, adult prison, like and, a YA youth. Yeah, like YA, like okay. where you guys have YA out here. Ours is called the Miners Unit. It's a Rincon Miners, ah. and it's in it's in Tucson. So all of Arizona, they go to they go to the Miners Unit. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, so you get there and they throw you in, you know, in mm -hmm. your unit that or module or whatever it's, mm -hmm. you're at. And you walk in and you see all the kids. Like, where's your mind at? Like, how are you feeling? Like, do you think you're cool? Like, how is your, you know, your behavior? Honestly, like, when I was young, when I went in, like, uh, our house, the way we, like, like, if I go in now, I can't go in now. Like, there's no way I could go in now. Like, I'm just a whole different person. But back then, when I went in, like, it was better than where I grew up at. So, I didn't mind it. Like, I was in jail. You by your dad. Yeah, like that. yeah. I was in, you know, like, I was scared of that motherfucker. That motherfucker beat my ass. So, when I was in prison, these are my homies. So, I'm over there chilling with all my friends. So, he and knew the boys that are already in saw, there. Yeah, some of them in there, like, I knew. but From school? Just, yeah, just grew up in the same places. and Got and, um, it. I, I, like, they were, it was cool. It was just like a big ass, like it was like a high school almost, like just a bunch of badasses. Because obviously you didn't even go to high except school. no girls. Yeah, there's just no girls. We just a bunch of badass boys just running around, and everybody's just gang banging. Everybody's in there for like some crazy ass charges, like 15 years old, just double homicide, triple homicides, and and people. That's like that shit is not normal. Like when you think about that shit, like no. a 15 year old triple homicides, like no, it's not. And these are our homeboys, and we're like hell yeah. So we think we're just. We're dumb, you know what I mean? We don't no, know. I we're know stupid what you mean. We, we like that shit, you know what I'm saying? I get it. No, I know. I trust me. Yeah. You know, at that yeah. age, it's like, if you're yeah. in that life, then that's yeah. the, what you're doing, you know? Yeah. You don't actually realize it until mm -hmm. you're, you know, you're older and you're our age. I mean, I don't know how old you are, but I'm assuming we're kind of the same age, you know? I'm about to be 38 this month. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, that's my generation. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm few years older but i mean we're still kind of at the same group yeah. you know okay so how did you get in any fights while you were there man and, that shit was intense it was intense it was worse than adults yeah okay. it was like our first week there as soon as we hit it like it was yeah it was jumping it was jumping like they all my homies went to one unit and they told us all to go to this unit and I don't know why or how it happened, but I got separated. So I was the only one that went to another unit. And I went to, so I was the only one that went. So at the time, it was like Phoenix and Tucson were kind of like beefing. And um, they had a they had a lot of crips from uh, West Side City. And that, and a lot of where I'm from um, in Arizona, they went to that unit. And I got separated. So they were already pressing me as soon as I went there. They were already trying to, like, take my clothes and all kinds of <gasps> shit, yeah. I'm all, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not funny, but, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's just the way it is. It's yeah, like, yeah. Um, what do you call that? Like We accept it. It's like um, your initiation into life, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. like it's just, and that it's part. just part of it, And how yeah. long did you fight your case for? If you, you probably didn't even fight it since you said you did it, right? Honestly, 
I was so young and dumb that I didn't, I just went with the flow. Like whatever they threw at me, they threw it. Like I didn't care about nothing. And like, was your mom there like to go to your courts? Or? Hell no. Oh, you were Shit, by yourself. by myself. I even called on Christmas one time and they hung up on me. This is at the time back in the day where you could hear, you remember how you, used, answer, to, yeah. you used to hear them on the other side? Yes. Yeah, like like they would, I would call and, and they would, I would hear them talking to each other and they'd be like, what the he doing calling they're like i don't know hang up on that fool and then they would hang up on me but i swear to you no visits no nothing no no nothing no letters no cards like i was like this must this my shit these are my people right here so that's why that's why i i uh, identify a lot with my type of people that grew up like that because those are that's why those are our people yeah they had no families either they didn't have, anybody else. They didn't have nobody rocking with them so we're like no it's all good <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I'm a mom now. You know, yeah, we're yeah. older. Like yeah, when we're yeah. younger, like I, you know, I. Yeah. When you're young, that shit f***s you. When you're young, that shit, you be like, oh, man, you hate women. You know what I'm saying? But when you get older, you deal with it. You're just like, like you realize that it does create damage. For so sure. when you get older, you have like little things that you have commitment issues or you have like detachment issues. And I mean, it f***s with you, but, but you have to just. I don't know. Like, I don't hate women. Anymore? Anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but it's something I had to deal with internally. For sure. You know, my, my mental was, like, kind of f***ed up when it came to that shit. And so. Do you think your mom was like that because of your dad? Like, she, like, I, do you? Maybe. I mean, I'm just going to ask a question just because it popped into my head. Do you have communication with your parents now? Here, uh, here and there, like, it's not like, um, like, I don't hate them. You know what I mean? I don't hate, like, even my dad, like. We're not close at all, but I don't. I don't hate that fool. Like I dealt with it. Like I was gonna. I was gonna rock that fool. I'm like, I man, out. I f- <laughs> That's what everybody <laughs> told. Every, I was gonna do the same, but I felt bad because when I got out, he was he was smaller See? than me, and he was he was older, and he was just more. You could tell life really did a number on him. So I'm like, Hi. it's all good. You know? <laughs> it's all good. I ain't tripping. I know, and it's still you doing. An, and it's still doing a number on him. I'm sure he has to you pay should. back. For yeah, like, like life. Could, life fucked us you know, up. Life fucked you, us yeah, up. Yeah, you know. But you're doing amazing. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure. Okay, let's rewind. So, what did you get sentenced to? What is your? What was your sentence? So when 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 you're in the minors unit in the juvenile pri- uh, jails, they 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 send you like counselors and stuff. So they send people that would like talk to you because we're youth you know we're of like course. i guess that's like they that's they try to help the youth because we're not all the way done yet we're not like an adult that mm-hmm. like really f- up his life sometimes we don't even know what we're doing exactly. so they would like talk to us and help us and they would send people our way and talk to us and they would always tell us that that um they're trying to like like we still might have a chance out of a future like don't completely throw us like a way, yes. like try to help them yes. if you can, you know what I'm saying? So it would, that was, that was like, they would fight on your behalf to the judge and say, well, if he does this or if he does this, maybe he can do this. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And I'm just there like, and I looked innocent when I was young. I looked in, I looked like, I didn't look like what I look like now. I like, mean, well, just you have tattoos doesn't mean you don't look innocent. Like, well, I was like, a, like the little something, you know, <laughs> I was like, like I had a no little... choice and shit to my life. <laughs> <laughs> like I was a little boy, like no. I had like a baby face and I would just like, you know, every, my clothes were all baggy, you uh-huh. know what I'm saying? And my, the, you know, I'd be all chained up just like, I didn't care, whatever, I can give a f- you know what I mean? And, um. They um so they said you know like he might have a chance at a future like maybe it's just the environment he grew up in that that was like you know like pressing him like that. Maybe kid, that's exactly yeah. what it was. And so they, Hi, Shane. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so so they um they they get they gave me three and a half on that one. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they gave me three and a half. So I had I had a I did a like I did a, um like I was fighting it a little bit and then and then uh, I did some juvenile prison time and then I did a little bit of time in the adults and I got released from like the adult prison. Uh, okay, so tell me about your juvenile <coughs> prison experience. Oh, that shit was rough. That shit was, I ain't gonna lie. Anybody when that was there. you walked in, I'm sure you heard stories even though you thought you were extremely down. Hey, it was shitty. funny. One, one story I could remember, there was three of us in the in the van and uh, we all we were all homeboys and uh, we're just laughing, clowning, talking shit, just laughing, whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, uh, as soon as we pull up, you know, you see the big ass gates and you see the, you know, the mm-hmm. COs with the guns and they got cowboy hats on. And, oh, shit. They have yeah, cowboys because yeah. they're in Arizona. Yeah. So they had cowboy hats and shit and they have boots and we're and we're all quiet. And then the the guy that was driving the van is like, what happened? You guys got all quiet. Get quiet now. <laughs> but we're in there like this. 
like looky like damn yeah, he goes, he's, he's, he's like you made it to the big boys like you made it to the big boys now and then so when we walked in there um man sh just like the movies straight up just it was just like the movies like like you see everybody in the line you see people working out on the yard all the homies throwing up their hoods and like they're all teenagers yeah everybody's under 18 but these ain't no little kids like you see some grown men full beards like swole been in there since they were like 13 and <sighs> Yeah, they were. They just wasn't. There was some that were real little, but for the most part, there were some. There were some big. They've been there for. There were some big already. boys in there, yeah. yeah. And then plus, like genetics too. You got some big ass yeah. kids. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you see those big ass kids. But um, yeah, they give you a little rack. I mean, a little blanket sheet. You know what I'm saying? And send you on your fucking tell you where to go and. You know what I mean? How did you feel when you walked into your unit? I was like, damn, this shit's real. It was like, I swear to you, it was just as, as soon, the same day we're in there, it was already jumping. Because they were already trying to make, because one of my homies is mixed. He's mixed with black and Mexican. So they were already telling us, you got to choose sides. And oh, we, shit. And us, we, we're we young. We're little kids. And we're like, what you, like, what you, like, like, choose what side like we're, we're from a gang like we ain't choosing another side or like it's not like that in here there ain't no your gangs don't yeah, exist in here you didn't know what is yeah it. we're like we're from a gang like they're like nah this is it's racial homie like you rolling with us whether you like it or not and we're like what like damn you say i like my dad <laughs> I'm like, so it was just like wow. it was just already like so he got into it they sent somebody uh, on him that same day and then when I went to the unit they pressed me and I got into it with somebody in the shower some food named so Monster so what did you who, who did you roll with Mexican okay yeah and um yeah got down with some food in the shower my first like first week there you slipped no no he so and then, you slipped <laughs> no well <laughs> Well, in the you know? in the shower, a lot of people fight in there because it has a it has a it has the 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 glass and it has bars on it, but it fogs up so you can't see. So that's where people fight. Okay. And then, no, I just mean did you slip because of this? Is, you're in the water, like. Oh, I did. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. Did. Yeah. I was in there. He said he told me put your boxers on, so I put my boxers on. Oh, he let the ah. He gave me the chance, which is nice. Which is nice. Thank you. <laughs> <'Cause> you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, got out, just banged it out with that fool. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you got out and you felt like okay. I was like, damn. But then it just didn't stop. It's just more fights after more fights. Like it was everybody was kind of pissing on you, kind of thing. Kind of, yeah, people were pressing me. People were like, you know, fools from different neighborhoods. Like it was just like that. Even though it was not sides. Yeah, yeah, it was just like that. People don't like you. They find reasons not to like you. I remember one time I seen a a book. I, I had a book and my name was in it. And it, I guess there was a bunch of hoods crossed out. And then they put my name in it. Like I did it. So everybody was pressing me. They were like, "Hey, fool, you fucking crossed out my hood." And I'm like. Yeah, I don't even read. I, I don't even read. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know this book is. I don't even know how to write. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you knew how to write, right? Yeah. I'm just saying. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I didn't make it. I only made it to eighth grade. I was about to ask yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. But did you take, did you finish school in there or not at all? Eventually. Okay. Well, I wasn't going to when one of my, one of my homeboys told me, he's like, fool, don't be a dumbass when you get out. And I was like, fool, I already am. And he's like, just get you. GD. I go for what? And he, he kind of pressed me. He's like, get your G just to have it. And I'm like, all right, I got it. And I still don't use it. I mean, yeah, but I just got it just to get it. You know what I mean? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. So that was your, you were, how long were you at the adult, the kid prison? For three years. Three and years. then I did another half. In there. So yeah. your whole, uh, wait, so you got more years? Where, what do you mean? Cause you said you had, uh, you did three years in the youth prison mm -hmm. and then you went more time for the adult prison because you got out when you were 18. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit in there. Oh, okay. But I, but I went in again. Okay. I did another 10 and a half. Okay. Yeah. So you got out, so your whole three years or your whole youth mm -hmm. term, which is you said you got three years and a half, mm -hmm. right? You, it was basically the same thing. You were just kind of fighting. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what was the, what would you say was the worst thing you saw while you were a youth? Um... I don't know a lot of it. <clears throat> I don't think it's like the worst thing I saw. I just saw it was like a, like now that I look back on it, like that shit was kind of traumatic in a way. Like like we're we're young and we're very impressionable, and we're like the shit they did to us was like fucked up. Like throwing us in the hole. Like they put us like I've been to suicide watch, butt ass naked, like there for a week, and, like no nothing, and we're little kids. So like yeah, no, that's and then intense. they would throw us in like the hole like straight up and we'd be like as a grown some grown men ain't never been to a hole so for a little kid to be in a hole like so you're angry you're misguided you're lost you're up in the head and now you're adding more shit to the head and you wonder why we come out up yes. and we come out angry like F world F this F that nobody knows what you're going through except people that can relate and then i remember a few times like 
they threw me in the hole and they forgot about us. Like there was a time that you're only supposed to like, so when you get in a fight, they put you on like a, like a, they put you in the hole for like 30 days and give you like LOP. That's like loss of privileges and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And they had us in there for like 60 days. And then I was like, Hey, I think we're in here a little bit too long. Like, you know what I mean? And they wouldn't take us out for some, whatever reason they said it was cause it was, it was packed. That's why they didn't take us out. Well, they would feed you and stuff. Yeah. They feed you. You got a blanket. <coughs> like in the hole. Uh huh. Yeah. You get one blanket. Okay. Yeah. But a hole is just it's just like nothing. It's just like a metal. It's just fucking concrete metal. There's nothing. You don't get nothing. Not you can't have nothing. You can't have shit. You can't have nothing. There's like, you only get a blanket. Like you can't have nothing to write with. Like you can't have no book. You can't have nothing. Like you're just there in a box. And you were there for 60 yeah. days. Man, I was thinking all kinds of shit was going through my head. I wanted to like, I wanted to kill people, all kinds of shit. Like I was just angry, hated the world, well, you know, hated myself. Like I didn't know like self-worth. Like I was just off up in the head you know what i mean like like you don't realize like at the time it's normal but when you get out you realize like like damn i'm like kind of you know yeah, what i mean like yeah. and, and then then people always pointing a finger at you trying to point your shit out like you like you damn do. like and then i start realizing it like oh damn shit maybe you're right <laughs> you know what i mean is the worst part but now you, you gotta accept it. now you gotta accept it fix it face it and dig deep to really like get that shit out of you because like like, I mean, I mean, you know, you've been there. So but unless you understand that type of shit, then you'll be like you have more sympathy towards like people that are f up in the head. Yeah. So I think that's why when I see people that are like all the way, there's some people that are all the way gone. Like they ain't coming back. Like they're all the way f up. Yeah. Like, I thank God that I'm like I'm Amen. I'm performing like I'm out here. I'm performing like a normal human. I mean, I'm not the best human being. But I mean, I mean who really is, though? You know, yeah, Who's the I, best human being. No one. I don't know. But I mean, <laughs> I mean, I'm performing, functioning. I'm working. I'm, I'm, I'm a regular guy now. That's right. I'm just a regular, normal. Just, you know what I mean? Every day. Yeah. Every day type of person. So, yeah. OK, so you got out of the <coughs> of, you know, you got out, you did your three years mm -hmm. and um, what did you do when you got out? Where did you go? I went back. No, I mean when you got the, out of that, like so you didn't have your mom, your dad. Like, what? Where did you go when they when you got out of the youth authority? So when I when I got out, I um, just I, so we know, you know. Yeah, I, I I don't even remember. I think I lived with somebody, like a homie or something. Okay. I think I like paroled or something, but it didn't last long. Like, it didn't last long at all. Cause like that was that was so fast to me. Cause I was already we hit the ground running. Like I'm 18. I'm tatted. I'm you know what I'm saying I'm banging. I'm. Did you get the face tattoos? And the youth? No, no, we didn't get those till I got older. Okay, but but I'm saying like for us being young, like we were, we had our tats on us, and so I'm already like shit. Yeah, you know, you're just not caring about shit. Anything. I'm with it. I'm with it. Yeah, so that's what we did. You know what I mean? We're just and we all and then some of us are linking back up. So the ones that we're grew up with now now we're all getting out. And now we're all, you know, trying to survive together. Now we're all like shit, you know, so we're out there just and, you know, everybody knows something about something. Mm -hmm. So, you know, everybody's trying yeah. to make shit happen. Yes, and then, for sure. And then and then plus you just man, you're just out there just Not running sure. it up. How yeah. long did you last out? Like six, eight months. I didn't last long at all. Yeah, I was. And you caught another case. Mm -hmm. What was your case? What did you get charged for? For attempted murder. Another for, one. For a shooting, yeah. Mm -hmm. Another one. Mm -hmm. Okay, you little shooter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how did that go? Tell me about whatever you could talk about. You know, what did you, you know, the no, process? It's, that, it, was, it was the same. It was just like, I went in again and the ju when I went before the judge on this one, he was just kind of like, you're not learning. Like, they, oh, they were starting to call me like a habitual criminal. Did you get caught right away? Um, damn, I don't remember. Did I? Maybe like a week later. Okay. Like, I didn't think nothing of it on the cool because we were like, we we're committing crimes that I didn't think I was going to get jammed up for this. Got it. Because I was already getting away for the other stuff. Got so it. So I was just, in my head, I was just thinking, oh, this is just something else. Like, this ain't a big deal. Did you use drugs? No, that's the crazy thing. I don't drink or do drugs. I'm just fucked up. Like I'm just like <laughs> well, No 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 What actually yeah. Okay as crazy as I'm just this, I'm, I'm, no, I'm the no, damaged no, youth Straight up Straight well, up No this is what I was gonna say As as crazy as I might sound mm -hmm. um, It's always better To do things On your right mind Yes that's the reason Why I did that I had somebody Told me when I was because young Because yep. it's Super Like you're not down mm -hmm. Like I don't care How many people You think you're doing Like mm -hmm. you're not down If you gotta be Under the influence Right to do things mm -hmm. 
you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And I'm not saying people go do it. Like, I'm definitely not saying that. But it's mm. definitely like, well, you're not a down ass fool. Yeah, yeah. Because you're doing it high. I bet you yeah. if you weren't high, you're not going to do, do the things yeah. you're doing. So, I mean, you know, I'm not saying it's okay. I'm, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not saying it's not you or just me or just in general, mm-hmm. you know, like. No, I get what you're saying. If you're going to do it. You know, yeah. at least you know what was happening. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you're not waking up in this like. Shit, what did I what do? What I do, yeah. Like, you know exactly what was happening. Well, that was, that was what was told to me. They said, if you do something, just know that you're going to have to live with those consequences. So if you drop somebody, like, you're going to be doing life. You're going to have to eat that shit. Exactly. And, you, and don't cry now. Mm-hmm. So that was always my thing. That And I didn't, too. I ate it. Like, whatever I did, I accepted. I did it. I did it. Walked in there. I knew what I was facing. You know what I mean? And, I mean, what am I going to do? So, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So you went, you, how long did you fight your case for? In there, mm-hmm. uh, usually like uh, cases like that are like a year. It's okay. like it takes a year to fight. So obviously you're probably in the same place, just in a different unit, because now you're with an adult. Yeah, now I'm with the adults. And what was the difference between the adults and the unit, like the, the adults and the minor ones? If like if you could explain it, you get what I'm saying, like the programming, because I'm sure the kids fucking program way different than the adults. Um, um, shit. Um, the adults is more like. I don't know. Like, I think they're more like, um, more structured. Like the, the youth is like, we're just bad or angry, but the, like a lot of the stuff that you feel, you gotta like, like it's just more structured. You, you know feel, what I mean? Did you feel more, um, <laughs> like you can't be yourself. Adult. Yeah. Like in the, in the youth, you can do whatever the fuck you yeah. want. You know what I mean? You just deal with the consequences over there. It's just more like, like you got, there's like, you got to respect things and, you got to talk to people a certain you way. You can't you, be yourself. You can't. Yeah, well, not respectful as <laughs> <laughs> Like, you can't, you know, well, that's what we are, you know? And you can't, you know what I mean? They just, they're just really, like, on you about everything. Like, you can't, Which there's just okay, rules. kind of. I mean, for us, I mean, they kind of molded us. They, like, raised us. So, they're kind of like our dads and our theos and our big homies. So, they would teach us how to talk, how to walk, how to dress, how to, things we could and couldn't do. You know what I mean? Like, I learned a lot, honestly. Like Positive I learned things. Like a little bit of both. Yeah, like, a little bit of both. Like I learned. Uh, I remember one time I sat on some fool's bed and they told me that was a no no. One of the homie Moscas pulled me to the side and he's like, he's like, you don't do that. And then he told me why. He goes because a lot of us we're gonna live and die in this place. This is all I have is this bunk right here. This is it. This is this is all I get. I don't gotta five bedroom house, a backyard. This is all I got. So that's why it's pressed so nice. You know what I mean? He goes, I lay my head here every night, so don't ever sit on another man's bed. Which is understandable. And I was like, damn, that was deep. I was like, sorry about that. Hey, but <laughs> but it made did, sense yeah. because he like he, and, but he was my homie though, so it's not like he was, you know, he was telling me on some like he was putting you up on game, putting me on like don't ever sit in a man, don't ever sit on a man's bed. And I was like, all right. So thank you for that, Mosca. Yeah. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a good thing, you <laughs> yeah. know. You and he's you, still in there. He's he's yeah. He's doing all day. He's yeah okay so that's what you learned a lot while mm-hmm. you were 18 19 like with because of the older guys and yeah, things yeah. like that so what did you get sentenced to um so for that they just they got me for um well they didn't get it get me at the crime scene and they didn't get me they didn't get no gun on me they didn't get nothing honestly so i thought i was gonna be good but the it, when somebody tells on you like that that's that's all the evidence they need. Of course. And then plus my history doesn't make it better. So I fit the description of everything that's being told about me. So, yeah, they they, they, they gave me 10 and a half for like they dropped the prohibited possessor because there was no gun. The attempted murder because uh, attempted murder out there. I don't know for here, but it's 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 like like in the heat of the moment and I shoot you. That's just that's like an aggravated assault. But if I like mask up, I break into your house and I'm trying to kill you, but you don't die. That's tempted murder. Like I planned to kill you, but yes. you didn't die. So it was more like it, we were just banging on each other, and I just let you have it. You For know sure. what I'm saying? No, that's yeah. That's, that's I get it. Yeah, that's a good way f- to put it, so that yeah. we could understand. You know, also because in Arizona you're able to carry. Not, not us. everybody. Not us. Yeah. But like yeah, yeah. the people that are that are able to carry when it's like a heat of the moment, like. Let me just fucking get out and shoot you. Like, how does that work? Well, well, now. I mean, not for you, but obviously. Are you talking about your, like like now? Yeah, from your understanding. Well, now, now that now everything's different. Like in Texas too. Like you, everyone can have a gun except me. So I'm like, it's either you have one, and you get put away, or you don't have one and potentially 
get, get put shot. Away. Yeah. So now I'm like, I let shit go a lot. You have to. I'm first. just like, have a good day, sir. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, I'm nice. And then plus my wife tells me all the time, she's just like, dude, like, they'll shoot, they'll kill you. Shout like, out to your wife. She's super beautiful, too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Shout out to Victoria. <laughs> but, <laughs> hey, boo. <laughs> but um but um no straight up they'll they'll kill you it'll be a kid too it'll be anybody like he could or somebody that can okay. care like if i press say some they say these days i press somebody right and he's in feel for fear for his life and he 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 can shoot me and get away with it and go on continuing with his family the next because day because like, you're the one that would because i'm the aggressor i the one with the history i look crazy so that's why i'm now i'm like shit like honestly i try to stay i stay away from a lot of those situations like i don't care I, I shouldn't even say that. People be like, oh, he don't carry. <laughs> he doesn't carry. Don't worry. <laughs> I don't it's carry. Okay. Nah, yeah. I just, I, honestly, I don't live like that. I don't carry. I don't walk around like that. I don't trip on nobody. Like, I let shit go. Honestly, I feel like a f Nah, you realize like that shit's like that sometimes. serious. <laughs> nah, don't even say that. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm maturing. I'm maturing. And plus, I got kids. That it ain't that serious. It ain't that serious. Like, go be mad. Yeah, be mad. Yeah, there you go. Be mad. If you're going to hurt me, hurt me. I ain't tripping because, like, I won't risk going away from my kids That's right. straight up like i won't risk that i won't i don't want to go away i can't do a day no more like oh, i can't it's like no it's like no not that's like my worst fear i'll no, be waking honestly. sometimes i wake up like oh shit girl. i'm out like no no, no. like i Trust still me. have nightmares huh. yeah i still have okay, nightmares so let's go back so you got sentenced yeah and you're 19 or something 19 yeah you got sentenced to 10 years you 10 said. and a half 10 and a half years mm -hmm. you obviously were like fuck it is what it is mm -hmm. you accepted it what happens next? Where did you go? Obviously, you went to adult prison. Yeah, I went to, uh, they, they add up your points, you know, like yeah, how they do here, the point system. They do the same thing out there. So it's like your age, your gang affiliation, your charges, then all that shit racks up. And then all, all the stuff you did, like I didn't realize it at the time, but all the stuff we're doing in the minors unit adds up. Like we're getting in fights and we're doing all this shit, but we don't know that as soon as we get go back, oh, they, they tally it all up and they go, oh, okay, send his ass to a fire yard. You know what I mean? And we're like, what? You're <laughs> you know? I, I was a kid. Yeah, I was like, damn, for real. And they add it all. They hold it all against you. And then by the time they give it to you, then they tell you, all right, you're going to a five yard. Then you're going to like some yard that's jumping or somewhere where there's like, you know, they're politicking real hard. And then you're little. I'm 19. I remember I went to Buckeye. Buckeye, everybody that knows Buckeye 2004. That was gladiator school. Like That's where you that's, went right after. That's yeah, where you got, right yeah. when you got sentenced. Yeah, I went to Buckeye. And Buckeye was, it was a war going on out there. Like, even the police went, because I was so little. I've always been little. And uh, when I was you little. And, well, now I am, because I've been, you know, <laughs> I was like, fuck that. <laughs> but, <laughs> but at the time, you know what I mean? I was little. So even the cop was like, hey, it's jumping here. Like. They're like, Get I'm, I'm going to give you that opportunity if you want to check in. And I was just like, uh, th I mean, I've been in the system my whole life. So I was like, I'm good. You know, like, I know what's up. I know what time it is. And that, that shit was jumping for real. Like, any, if you came off of a bus from another yard and they knew, like, okay, this yard is this, then they would get everybody off that bus. Like, it was just cracking at that time. Like, so tell me about your first celly when you first got there. Because obviously he was way older, maybe. Yeah, my celly was Joe Brown. My celly was Joe Brown and he was in there for a killing some crackhead like i think he sold or something i don't know something like that yeah but, but that he, was my first celly and he didn't he told me he goes i didn't like you when you first walked in uh, that's what he told me later and he goes he goes i didn't like you and i said why is that he goes because you just look like a f travieso like i Facts. he goes <laughs> he goes i thought you because he's older he's been in there more, a lot of years and he was older he's more mature and he goes you just look like somebody that's just like gonna cause chaos, cause chaos. He goes, yeah you're gonna bring you know heat to the cell and he goes man f you now like Aww. he now that he lived with me he liked me and and then he just he i don't know he just grew he's he, like grew he probably on got me. to know the i was like fool i didn't like you either you he got fucking to know you, 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 you uh, maybe a person that you didn't even know <clears throat> yeah 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 because he's older you know well they don't like our stilo like the way we are like the older generation like the older homies they didn't like us the way we were because they feel like we're more like um we're not old school like that like we don't wear our pants real high and you know slick our hair back and you know we fucking just there were this yeah yeah and, yeah, and we're fucking just like now that i'm 38 
I'm saying the same thing about the next generation. No, like, I, think I don't like that. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a, a cycle. cycle. It's a cycle. You'd be like, oh, they didn't learn what we learned. Yeah, but they it's don't like, act the way we act. Who the heck likes their kids? <laughs> for real yeah. no like it's yeah. like you know my yeah. kids with the long ass hair like bro cut your hair yeah, yeah. cause I want his hair short <laughs> yeah you straight up yeah and it's just how it goes we don't like that shit yeah They're it's straight how it goes up. Keep so a... you le- did he teach you a- you learned a lot from him not, not necessarily from him but from but people around people around just just like I guess they once they knew me and knew my story and they were like they were like damn you had it kind of fucked up you know what I mean like they 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 understood why I was the way I was and my behaviors and they they just saw that I was lost and I was misguided and that that it was just they respected because I, I was real driven like when I was in there like no bullshit anybody that was in there with me and they could tell you they'll tell they'll say I got homies hitting me like my homie sniper he's from he's out here from LA and uh I was locked up with him and he tell me same he writes me on Instagram he's like bro you've always had that drive like like the same working out tatting like you always been on that shit so you've been an artist yes the whole time yeah do you think you were you an artist as a, when you were a baby as you were a kid no. or once you started going to jail once i started going to jail got it because it's, it's attractive like i see drawings and i liked it i would see like the hoods and bang, i just liked it so i was just attracted to it nice <laughs> <laughs> and tell me, so you did the whole 10 years at, in Buckeye? Or? No, no, you get moved around everywhere. Okay. Yeah, I did. I was all over Arizona. How long were you in Buckeye for? I was in Buckeye maybe like, I think a year or two. And okay. then they move you. Then they you, you do like Yuma. And then I went to like Florence. And then two. I went at every. every all the every, prisons. Winslow. I was all over. All the I was prisons. over, yes. Um, Central Unit, the walls. What yeah. would you say was um, the craziest, the craziest one? Buckeye and the walls. Okay. Buckeye was in Central Central. What unit. was the craziest thing you saw? Everything, everything. And when I went to Central what, Unit, I mean, one that stands out. Shit. That uh, you could, you know, obviously you don't need to say out the, but you know, a little. Give us a little story. Damn, they're they're kind of bad. I don't know if I can say <laughs> that shit. We seen it all. Yeah, we've seen fool. We've seen fools get their head peeled back. Like. Straight up, oh. eyes get poked out, like everything. Like you see it, every like straight up, you see everything. Like it, it, it's it gets to a point. Like honestly, like me and my homie, like I got a lot of homies that are doing life, and they don't need that shit. Don't even phase them anymore. They don't even like it. They'll tell you straight up, and they fools got murders on them, and they'll say, man, I don't even like looking at that shit. Like you see somebody getting the brakes beat off of them, you're kind of like. Damn, I feel bad for that motherfucker. Yeah. Like straight up, I got homies that just they just look the other way now. They don't even want to see that shit because it's, it's not okay. It's I, straight up, it's not. When you're young, you're like fuck yeah, fuck that fool off. But when you're older, you're just like damn, that fool got a family and shit. Like he got kids and he getting the fucking sh- dog shit beat out of him or stabbed up or you know and that's like what I, yeah like and that's I, what I you know right now that you said that I also think like you know when especially when they're older like if those kind of things are happening to them like what are you doing mm-hmm. like you need to not be selfish yeah, like don't yeah. forget like yeah. you, like you said you have there's other men and they're they're like damn that food like he has a family like yeah. he's getting beat up but is he I thinking seen, about I his can, family ooh, you know? Yeah, that's true. I'm, I could recall one incident where there was this one guy. I won't say his name, no, but, you don't need to. but uh, he. Uh, I remember I was watching him saying they were introducing him to his family through the gate because they were at a visit. They're like, "Oh, this is my boy, whatever, whatever." And he's like, "Hey, nice to meet y'all." You know, doing the whole going through the whole casualties or whatever, mm-hmm. or through the whole whatever, and um, and um, and we all knew that he was gonna. They were gonna get him. And they were like, hey, nice to meet you. He's like, this is my friend, whatever. And like two days later, he was gone. gone. Got his ass. And we were just like, and I just say my head thinking like, damn, like life is so invaluable. Like it's not worth anything. Like life ain't worth shit. Like nobody's life is worth nothing. That's what I was getting from it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, and I was just like, mm. and then nobody cares. You forget about it. And then it's like, what's for lunch? Exactly. What's for dinner? You know what I mean? Or what am I going to do today? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You don't even care about that fool. Somebody dies, you're just like, ah, whatever. And um, since you didn't have family be there for you, did, did you didn't even have nobody write you, not even a girl, like a pimp. Pat. Man, I wish I had a girl. I see fools doing time with girls. I'm like, you motherfuckers. Because I couldn't do it. Like, well, because like I can't because I know where I'm at. I'm in a war zone. Like if a girl, usually when you're with a girl, like that softens you. Like being with a woman is like, you want to be all nice and talk and like you, you're like in La La Land. You know what I'm saying? So me having a girl in prison is like, oh, that'll fuck me up. Dude. I'll be sick in my stomach. Like so I'll you be, never had like a I'll pen pal? Th- Hell no. I, would, I, I always see guys with girls in prison and I don't know how the fuck they do it. 
how the fuck you get how the fuck you get a girl in prison like it doesn't make any like you can't do shit for her you can't you know you can't you be intimate you can't do you can't go places you can't do shit yeah and a a girlfriend i mean he entertains his little brain and it's what it matters <laughs> but i felt like it would fuck me yeah, up because yeah. like i didn't want to be in there all sick and thinking about a girl and yeah, yeah plotting yeah. on me the next day or like <laughs> i gotta wake up to this shitty ass cell and go angry and go shit. angry and out there like my my main focus was like like i wanted to be raw with it like work out like i love that shit like sleep with no mattress on the metals like i love that shit oh my goodness well i feel it's good for you when you're on a different my, my path was different no i understand you see what i'm understand. saying yeah, so i yeah. felt like yeah, you're full force you're full <coughs> yeah force you don't want what your yes. what your life is i understand i want to be a survivor yes and if surviving means hardening myself and detaching myself and being cold then that's exactly what I was going to do. Because I, I didn't want I saw so much shit. I was like, F I don't want to be a victim. I don't want to be some. I don't want to be a cry baby ass fool. Like, yeah. like that. whatever life hands me, you could give me a life sentence right now. I'll eat that shit. You know what I mean? It's just like whatever went my way. I wanted to take it. So that that's why I was like that. That's why I was like, because my life wasn't meant to, you know, yeah. be soft or have a girl or I wasn't even a dad. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, I wasn't even a dad. So I was like, man, that shit. But throughout your whole time, you drew. I drew. Do you feel like that was therapy? That's what I was about to say. That was therapy. Is that how you made your money? Is that how, like, you know, I'm sure you need some money to survive mm -hmm. in there. I did a little bit of everything. Okay. But that was like my that that was my bread and butter. That's what I mean, you know. Yeah, that's my bread. And to this day, that's my bread and butter. That's right. Yeah. I'm yeah. thankful. Yeah, yes. thank you, thank you. My son is an artist, so oh, is he really? yeah, no, that was bad. Yeah, yeah. Hell like, yeah. So 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 good. I always brag about it, mm -hmm. you know. But wow. You, you had you've been through a lot. Yeah, I mean, you know, to an extent, we obviously choose our paths, but you. Kind I didn't, of didn't choose. Have, I didn't choose yeah, that that's shit. What I'm I didn't choose, like, I, when people tell me that, because there's some. No, there, you I feel know, you people. Didn't. I feel like the ones that do tell me that they're haters. Yeah, no, because they'll be sure. like, "Oh, you could, you could have chose." I'm like, the fuck? I couldn't choose that shit. Like that shit was handed to me, and I had no yeah. choice but to run with it, and I did, and I ran with it. Like you know what I mean, and 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 dealing with all those emotions, like I, I don't know how to deal with all this. How, how do you deal with this? You know what I mean? How, how I don't know what to do. You know, and then as I got older, is when I had to realize, like, I had a uh, uh, the way somebody explained it to me was like, you have to um, dis undissect everything. You have to, you know what I mean? You have to go back in and unhook everything and then rehook it back up. And that that's what was hard. That shit was hard. Ah. I'm still doing that. You know what I mean? I don't think you could ever stop working yeah, yeah. on yourself. Yeah, yeah. Damn, shit, I like that shit. You're oh, damn, for real. <laughs> <laughs> but because you feel it though, right? Because yes, you understand. It's yes. it's it's, it's, it's you know? real, yeah. And I had my family there. I always had my mom, mm -hmm. you know. But, <clears throat> you know, it's me, like, just, you know, just certain things that I've done, you mm -hmm. know, it just... To my son and just in general, you know, like yeah, yeah. I and I just uh, I don't know. I guess I'm just a woman, you know. Yeah, yeah. Feel things, yeah. and you know. I'm starting to learn that about women. Very, they feel <laughs> like <laughs> we're, we're some sensitive ass people, but we don't care. Once yeah, we yeah. don't care, we don't care. But it's know? good. That's good. Yeah. Good balance. So yeah. okay, so you your whole term, your whole ten years, you mm -hmm. said you got moved around. What would you say was like um, the nicest thing that you saw or even experienced yourself? The nicest thing? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? While being incarcerated. Like the nicest thing you, you felt maybe in your heart that you were like, oh shit. Um, Has anybody ever asked you that? Damn, that's crazy because it's usually the opposite, right? We get so much hate that it's rare that you see anything beautiful. But I mean, I found beautiful moments in there. I've, I've seen some beautiful shit. Like there was one incident that I can recall that um, I was with my one of my homeboys named Red and um, he was my neighbor. He was in Central Unit with me. And man, this dude had it rough, way rougher than, and you know what I'm saying? Like, you. yeah, bad. Oh like, shit, that means it was all bad. It's all bad. Like, they all in the same week, just bad shit. Like his his mom died. He they, he he lost his appeal. His Route 32. He's doing 45 to life. His daughter got eaten by a pit bull. Like, just <gasps> e everything bad was happening in like within weeks. Like within literally, like he got bad news. They called him in and said this happened. Then they called him back. Oh, then this happened. They called him back. And said, oh yeah. And then they sent him a letter under his his cell. Said, oh, you know they deny your rule, your appeal. Like pretty much, uh -huh. you're you ain't getting out of here. And and he just like, like you could the look in his eye, like that we shared that moment. Like I wish I could just like, 
he, you could tell he wanted to kill himself. Like he didn't though. He he's still pushing, and but just the the pain that I exuberated from him, from him yeah. was deep, man. And and to be able to be in that moment with him, like. I think it made me feel like more passion for people like us. That's why I fight for people like us. Cause I'm like, it's like, you don't know what the we went through. Like as if we're some disgusting human beings or you're like, we, we hurting, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And nobody's there to stick a hand out and pull us out or give us any type of way. Like All you do is, push you yeah, more. they just want to tell you, you ain't shit. And you're like, and make a way so that's why we're like proud now we're like yeah this is us and, and to share that with him i remember I, I it was bars at the time and i and i i, I put my hand through the bars and i reached over and i you know what i mean i told him hey like you know like i, I know i can't do nothing to change your situation but you know I'm, I'm i'm glad that i could be here to share this with you and and i remember like it was like christmas time so i i cut a we cut a candy and then we shared oh. the half of it. It was sad, like on the cool, like, and and I said a little prayer, and then, and then we just kind of smiled and just laughed at it. And he goes, he just, you could just feel he's like, thank you, I needed that. You know what I mean? Like, even though it's not much, like just you being here for me, they, like thank you. And that to me was like that type of connection. Like most people will never feel that, or to be able to share something so, because in this world we live in, everybody's all about themselves or everybody's superficial everybody's all about you know what i mean what can i get what can i get and these days it's like damn there's this just real pain hurts you know what i'm saying like real real fucking authentic just you know what i mean unfiltered just organic pain is just like our most ancient barbaric emotions that we deal with and it's just like yeah. what do we do with all this like what do we do with all this information so that's why some people get go crazy some people yeah. become and they just, you know, just lose Vicious. Yeah. yeah, they become vicious. So, yeah, there's, there's, I've had some good moments like that, 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 it wasn't always of course. bad, you know what I mean? No, no, like, no, you have your wake up <coughs> days, hey, good morning, yeah. you guys, you guys have your laughs, yeah, you we guys clown, work out all yeah. day long. Yeah, we talk shit, clown. Uh, yeah, no, 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 but there's those times where you do need each other. Yeah, yeah. Did you ever get a hug in there? Um, I've never asked anybody that. A hug? Like, uh, I mean, the homies will show like we embrace each okay. other. I think that's why it's so um, powerful is because it's like military. Like like you you're going through a war, but you you have that brother, yeah. that brotherly. F like you're they're going through the same thing. So the homies were like they embrace you and shit like that. They you know what I mean? Like they they show love in there. There's some good dudes in there. Yeah, there's some good dudes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you guys ate together. What was your ate favorite together. spread? What was your favorite spread? Let's not. I, I'm like, let me, let me saw. Honestly, I didn't. I didn't really get into those. The oh, spreads. Yeah. What did you eat then? I mean, I would if if they passed me one. I wouldn't turn it down. Oh, but you wouldn't make one. I wouldn't go make them myself. I, oh, yeah. Like, cause I was more like a like a routine type of person in there. Like, like those type of meals are like here and there. Like my main my main meal was um tunas and peanut butter. I lived off of that macros, tuna, peanut butter, or like I'll put rice in a peanut butter jar and I'll shake it with cocoa and coffee and I'll just drink like those. Like a rosco leche vibe. Yeah, with, <laughs> with peanut butter and I'll just <laughs> down them. That was like my diet. So I lived, and then I wanted to be like swole. I want muscles, so I'm like, I'm just eating everything. You gonna eat that? Like we'll be at the chow hall, like I'll be like, you gonna eat those eggs? Like I'll be trading my cookies for eggs. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, you wanted the healthy yeah, stuff. Yeah, I wanted the good, the shit that was gonna get me big, but I'll, I'll eat that shit too. That shit, that's just nasty though. Like even out here, they, I, I like them. I mean, I, you know, I don't eat them every day either because they're not healthy for me. But you know, there's times I cra I'll crave one and mm -hmm. I'll make a little something. You it's know, it's just too much flavor. I'm a flavor ass. Yeah. You know? I, need, I need all the sun. <laughs> <laughs> You're all no flavor yeah. ass food. <laughs> yeah. I want that shit? No flavor. I want a raw fish. <laughs> no, but okay. And that's how you did your whole years. And yeah. how would you? It was easier for you to adapt to each location. Every mm -hmm. time you got moved, because mm -hmm. you knew people probably. Yeah, yeah, we've been in there our whole lives, okay. like straight up. I mean, there's fools that do like five years, whatever, get out. But honestly, like we grew up in the system. Like, so there's fools that be, you know, I know to this day are like the 50 year olds or the 60 year olds. They knew us when we were little kids. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? Yes. Or even like I got homies that'll be like, fool, I still remember when you were just that little skinny, baggy clothes. 
dirty motherfucker. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, you yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Fucking eating a bag of chips. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and like he's a like, baby. Yeah. And then he's like, he, he he always makes fun of me, though. But he'll tell me, like, who I raised you. That's like, right. I go raise another me. <laughs> 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 but it's just, it just cool. It's just like, yeah. So every yard we went to, it is always, you know what I mean? They, yeah. they know you. They show us. They show you love. And, and then if you're solid, too, like, like, like not saying I'm like super known or nothing like that, but it, you know, they know who's who, mm. you know what I mean? They know like, oh, he's cool. He's not scandalous. He ain't grimy or, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm just Shane. I'm just me. I'm not, I'm not nothing special. I'm just, I'm just a hey, motherfucker from around the way. I don't know too many Shanes. Mm. They're all kind of crazy. Are they? Not crazy like all oh, crazy in the head, but like you know they're kind of down. I had, I had another Shane on here. Oh, you did. The bank. He robbed twenty seven banks. Wow. And damn, how much time did he do? He he did time in the sixties, seventies. Oh shit! Yeah, so he had down. a chance. Yeah. 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 And then the yeah. Shane from Shameless. <laughs> <laughs> damn. Yeah. No. So okay. So that's how you were your whole ten years. How old mm. were you when you got out? Um, I just turned thirty. Okay. I was thirty. Um, and how did you find out, like, when when you were going to get out, did you get, they, they take you to the counselor? How did you feel, the emotions you felt once they told you, hey, your time is almost coming? Um, psh, honestly, it was like a, it, it, it's not real because it's like everything's all in our head. Like, you know how, like, you you you, you experience some beauty in life that you like, oh, okay, I'm going to get out to this. Or I, from when I got out, I didn't know nothing. I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing about nothing. I don't know what owning a house. I don't own. I never been a dad. Like I don't know nothing. So everything I'm getting out to is in my head. Like the the shit the I see. Uh -huh. Like it's like oh you're gonna have a good life or a beautiful life. Like the fuck is that? Like what do you mean? Like are you gonna live here? You're gonna do that? Like everything was like I didn't do it yet. I just I just was good. I knew I was gonna do it, but I, I haven't experienced it, so I didn't know what to expect. Cause I was like. In my head, I was like, "Shit, I'm gonna be rich as fuck. I'm gonna live in Florida." Like before yeah, I got I, out, that's what I was telling myself. Right yeah, 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 I'm gonna be in Florida. I'm gonna be rich. I'm gonna be this. I'm gonna be that. So I was like, I, "But how would I know? I did. I never. I don't know. I don't know what success looks like because that's all I had was that." And so all your childhood I was so it was, it's like kind of scary, you know what I mean? But in your head, you think, "Oh, I'm gonna get out and like like this is it. Is the world's gonna be beautiful?" Yeah, right. <laughs> It's that worse. was a, worse. It was it got worse for me. Like I went through shit that the the, the next two years after that was probably another the, one of the worst shit I've ever went through again. And I just like damn, this shit don't stop. Like I was like I went through all that, but I think that prepared me for this. But it was just a different. It was just all different. It just it took a long time for me to like like for me to get on like like my I know. feet because I mean? I kept like you know slipping. I couldn't get right. Like I I couldn't. I couldn't. I just. I couldn't get right so that's why i'm like it was hard it was hard i ain't gonna lie I, so it, that crushed my dreams so i was like everything's gonna be beautiful when i get out and then i had the biggest you know reality check and it wasn't so then i started going into like a depression then i started going into like man f you know f f i still get like that sometimes i'll fall back and i'll be like man the world ain't this what you know because people tell you oh it's gonna be all right like how you f I what the fuck do you know about my life that it's going to be all right? You know what I mean? So I still fall into those bad habits and that same mind frame that gets me back to like that. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm struggling with right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, are we all? Mm -hmm. I, I feel like. No, I struggle straight up. I still struggle. Like I struggle with my thoughts a lot. Like I struggle. Like I'm not saying. I don't think like, those feelings ever go away. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm blessed as far as like. I, I, you know, I feel like when a man, when men that I grew up with see me, they feel like I have it all. They're like, you got it all, bro. Like, you got kids, you got a wife, like, you right. got a house, like, you got a business, like, you got it all. What the f are you crying about? I'm like, you up? Like, you know how hard I've <laughs> worked like it, for? Yeah, yeah, you don't know what the f i gone through, and I still feel like I don't feel great. You know I what I mean? What you I mean. don't feel great. I feel like I sometimes I fumble, or I'm not the nicest, or I'm like, you know, I drop the ball sometimes. Like it's I, okay. Yeah, I, I don't do things like the way I should. You know what I mean? Like even like being a husband, that's just hard as fuck. Nah, you know? Trust me, being a wife is not easy. <laughs> trust me to this guy, you and know? Be, and being a dad, I've never been a dad. So all I know is how I grew up. So I'm, I'm, I, I like raising kids tough. So that's hard for me too. And so I'm like, how do, how, do, how do I be patient with a kid or a baby? Or like, it's just like my kid thing is like, man, let them survive. Man, figure that shit out. Get on your feet. Like, get the fuck up. Like, I'm like that type of dad. 
I'm and like, so it's, no. <laughs> yeah, so it's hard for me because I'm like, because I want them to be strong because I know what I experienced. So it hurts me knowing that you guys are going to go into this life and this life's up and this shit will eat you up. If you don't, you know, if you don't grab your nuts, this life's going to rip you apart. So I think I push that on to them and they're like, dad, chill, bro. I know, I Chill, Dad. Really. I just wanted some ice cream. Like, oh, sorry, sorry. So you have to catch yourself. I, a, yeah, a lot. yeah. I'm sorry. I, I so had, you've been I had out relapse. for like eight years. Uh, you got out, going you said, on eight years. You said, I think so. Well, you said you were you got out when you were thirty. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, you got out. <laughs> did you go like to a halfway house? Uh, uh, or did you just went? No, I, I got out. I got out. I didn't have to. I killed my number. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. you just went straight to the streets. Straight to the streets. Because obviously you don't have anywhere to go. Mm-hmm. Straight to the streets, went Literally. right back to it. Yeah, Literally. I was I was staying with one of my cousins. Okay. Yeah, I was living with my cousin. And you had to get a job. And I was trying. How was that? How I, was that for you? I still haven't got a job to this day. <laughs> I straight up, I never had a job. I never had a job to this day. Well, I, hey, I, honestly, for you. I, honestly, I, I don't think there's people that blessed enough that not to, to say no, that well, it never cool, worked. Honestly, I thought I was cursed because I wanted a job. I tried to get jobs. But I couldn't get a job. Hey, maybe it wasn't meant for you. It wasn't meant. But I tried, I was supposed to get a job in New York working at a hospital with the homie because they were hiring, like, they were able to get felons in. And then I was supposed to paint houses in Florida. That Everything that I tried to do, everybody, like, was, oh, man, I couldn't. Or, oh, this and this. Or something happened where it just wouldn't connect. And I'm like, dad, I just want a job. Like, I'll so, work an oil field. Like, so how I'll, were you surviving? Tattooing still? That's tattooing and, you know, doing, yeah, 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 yeah. you know. Yeah, that's it. But, that's all I did. That's all I did. <laughs> that's all I've ever done. I've never had a job. That shit trips me out. I mean, that's amazing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, well, I made it my sole mission to say, like, okay, this is what I have. I'll never walk away from this. Like, I, I almost walked away from it, but I came back to it. But it's just because I've been doing it for so long. Yeah. I was just tired of it. I was like, man, I've been doing this. Shit. I'm burnt out. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But then people are like, bro, you don't know what you have. Like, you don't understand, like, because I do a lot of, like, portraits that, like, people pass and the, they cry, like, when they get one from me. And to be able to do that, they're like, why would you walk away from that? You've been working on that your whole life. Like, that's, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, fuck it. They're like, God <laughs> give you something mm -hmm. and it's like you're spitting in God's face. And then I'm like, you know what? You're right. And then I kind of was just, I got back on it. I said, you're right. You're fucking right. Yeah. So I'm, I'm getting right you back on that shit. You talk and you do the whole yeah. nine yards. I'm like, forget out of that mindset. Are you still you know? very routine-ish? Yes. Yeah, actually I am. Yeah, actually I am. Yes and no. I, okay. It is, it is hard out here because it's a whole different life. But mm -hmm. yeah, I, I still, I still get up early. I still work out. Um, I, I don't read as much as I and used that, that's to. That's kind of the thing that goes away. Yeah. Like I, I want to read, but I, I listen more to audio books. Like, um, um. Yeah, I'm kind of st pretty structured. Yeah. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about your like tattooing. Like, how does um, how did you? Obviously, you started in prison and mm -hmm. things like that. But how did you <coughs> like find clients out here and things well, like that? Well, um, um, being that this is something I've done my whole life, um, um, it's very natural. You know, it's very natural to me, like what I do. So it's like I don't have to like try too hard. And I'm I like, like the beauty about what I do. Is that I could just be myself. I don't have to be nobody else. That's right. I could just be me. I could walk in as me and leave as me. I don't have to put on a, you know, a smile. I don't do, I don't do nothing. Did I but push it out and that's yeah. It. I, I could talk to you just like this and have, do a tat on you and then leave and this is like and then we got cool. And then, so most of my clients become my friends because like this, we're just hanging out. We're and I'm making money doing that. And to me, that's beautiful. Of so course. the way I do my clients is I just. I don't know. I just, I'm just myself. Really. I really don't know. I just kind of like, I don't, I'm not good at like technology. So I don't like really market. I don't know how to do like the, the whole, that side of things, but should I survive? You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Well, if you don't even need to, like, man, mm -hmm. it's a good thing too, you know? Yeah. yeah. Well, um, so where do you, where do you, where do you, you have a tattoo shop? Yes. I have a tattoo shop right now. Okay. Yeah. What is it called and where is it at? It's in Texas right now. It's, okay. it's so right now. So I had one. I closed it down, so I got I, I got rid of it, and I opened up another one with uh, an, a partner, and um, it's called Final Touch. It's in San Antonio, Texas. Okay. And um, but it's it's been going on for so long, like permit wise, um, that stuff I don't have to deal with. Yeah. He deals with it, 
So it's good because I don't I don't know nothing. I know exactly. You yeah, go yeah, deal yeah. out here. You the smart one. That's yeah. it. You the smart one. Go take care of that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just I bring all this and then um um, but right. So it's gonna be open like in a month or two. Okay. Like it, they're at the final touches of it. Like they're already. It's downtown San Antonio. Like it's it's in the Blue Star District. It's like an art district. It's nice. Super fly, badass. Just a dope ass location. Nice. Um and um uh. Uh, but I travel. I travel as well. Okay. Is that so, how you? Yeah. Work I, I a lot? tattoo in Florida, like Miami. You Florida. love Florida, huh? I do. I love. I've always loved it. I have love the been? tropical. Oh, obviously, you have. Yeah, yeah, you go yeah. Tattoo or whatever. Yeah, I love. I love the tropical. I love the beach. I just love everything about it. Any like, I guess it's the total opposite of where I've been. Mm -hmm. Like I've always been in barren, you know, desert, you know, prison. So, whatever the opposite of that would be is sun water just yeah. freedom to it, to me it represents freedom and i think that's why i like it so much so i love florida uh i go to arizona because of course that's the hometown i come to california you know it's california's very you know we're neighbors so yeah. i'm i just go everywhere i'm supposed to go to idaho next month and uh, uh link up with a homie out there nice. but i'm just doing what i did in there on a bigger scale got it like i network i did the same thing in there i network like crazy like i i'm the way i am i've always been like this i'm super social i'll be in there i'll talk to anybody i'll talk to you know what i mean <laughs> yeah. oh yeah we'll we, we be clowning the cops like we'll just talk to anybody and um, but now I'm just doing it through social media. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of the same. You know what I mean? I'm just, hey, what's up, homie? What's up? You know what I mean? Like kind of how like this uh -huh. too. like what's going like I'm just doing that. But on a bigger scale, you nice. know what I mean? So that that's that's kind of where I'm at. Well, right we're now. definitely going to obviously tag you and put your at mm -hmm. so people could reach out to you as well. Yeah. Hopefully you get a client or two, too. Hey, you never know. <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs> I'm sure you will. I'm sure. Oh, yeah. You will. yeah sure they, you will. They, people f with me like yeah. I f them and i think they they relate to me more like on that level like damn i feel you know what i mean mm -hmm. like they just understand struggle and they know it like so i think that's that's why people with me with them yeah yeah nice nice i love it i'm glad that you were uh willing to come on my platform and share your story i'm sure sometimes it's not easy talking about your experiences as when you were growing up. Yeah, forget the prison ones, mm -hmm. like your childhood, you know, mm -hmm. bringing back those memories. Uh, I'm sure, you know, probably makes you feel a little, a little. Well, it's honestly, I mean, I mean, not to cut you off, but thank you for having me to come here also to, to share that. Cause I mean, y your story is very similar. So it's like, I feel like it's very therapeutic and, and, and uh, I feel like people need to hear our stories. Yes. They need to. I feel like we've been muzzled for too long. And um, um, it, I, I like sharing it because even though it's painful, I feel like like it can it'll help somebody. I mean, it also helps me, but it'll help somebody. Mm -hmm. But it, it gives you like um, clarity when, if you're going through a dark time. It's like, yeah. damn, like that fool went through that. Then and I'm over here going through this like I'll be OK. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it just it just gives you a, a real perspective on on like. You know, some real time up to date yes. shit. Like, yes. yeah, yeah. Let me ask you something else before we, before we close. What do you do to like? How do, how do you how do you work on yourself? Like, you know, you say you got to dig, you have to dig deep, dig dig deep. Mm -hmm. how, uh, what is it that you do to like to help yourself to you know to figure yourself out when you're like feeling in the when you're in the dark <coughs> place like trying to like fight yourself like fuck everything like, like what do you do like honestly straight up like i just feel like i'm the way i see myself and my situation is just like like i don't view myself high like i we have a low perspective on our like the way we view ourselves we're, we're very, we put ourselves down a lot we're very low like we're like cuz everybody's told us that our situations told us you can't be trusted, so I'm gonna put you in chains. Or like, you're not a good person, so I'm gonna put you in a box. Or you make bad decisions, so you're a person. Or you're this, and people want, don't wanna be around you because of you, how you are and the way you, you are, so doors close to you. So we adopt this mentality that's like, you know what, I, I am, I'm fucked up, I'm, I ain't shit, I'm this, I'm a piece of shit. Like, I'm, I'm a loser, like I'm not a good person. And we, and we say that for so long, like, and then you see all these people that grew up with nice homes, nice families, nice moms, nice dads, they pay for their school, you know what I'm saying? So you're like, I'm not like them, so I must be a loser because I'm not like you. So I, I tell myself this shit for years and years, so I, I embraced it. I was like, well, I'm 
going to make being a loser look good. Like, I'm going to break. This is me. This is who I am. Mm -hmm. And I don't care. I'm not trying to be nobody else. I don't want to be this good, you know, person. And like, I'm because it's, it's not real. It's not me. And, and uh, I still to this day view myself like that. But I think people like us, I mean, I don't know about you, but people that come from like shit like that, we, we, we kind of we believe in God a lot. You know yes, what I mean? Yes. And and the, the beauty of us believing is God is because God don't care how f you are. Like I say, like, I'm a f I don't give a f disaster. Like, I'm a disaster. I'm a <laughs> fucked up person. Yeah. But God's like, like, no matter how f up you are, like he still embraces you. And to me, that's like a f something that's not heard of. Like, who does that? Who's going to embrace somebody like that? Who's going to take us in? Who's going to open the door? Who's going to who's going to really be like, man, there's nothing you could do. That's going to make me hate you. Like you can fuck up your whole life and I'm still going to be like, I got you. Mm -hmm. And to me, I think that's why like us, we like, damn, like God's like, I yeah, I want, like, I want, I want some of that. You know <laughs> yeah, what I mean? Like yeah, I want yeah. some of that. Like yeah. that's beautiful. Like for real. So you're going to love me no matter what the fuck I do. Like there's nothing I can do. And, and I think I still view myself, but I, 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 I accredit it like, it has to be God. Like that, there's no way. Like God has to be real. Cause there's no way I survive. I'm living, I'm, you know, functioning, I'm normal. Not normal, but you know what you I mean? Are, like I'm normal. normal. Okay, I'm normal. Accept it. Except, yeah. So there's no <laughs> way that I'm just yeah. that and still survive. Is It has to be God. That's right. Cause I'm super self destructive. I'll f life up. You know what I, I mean? Know. <laughs> I, I know what you're you saying. You know what I'm saying? So, so I think that, that, like, I'm not no expert or no like philosopher or i don't I, I can't i'm not a therapist i can't tell you how to fix it because i'm still trying to fix me right. but but um i don't know I, I just feel like 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 going through these experiences and having and going like with it like through, with god it kind of like gives me that insight you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so that's how so, you yeah yeah work on yourself. so like oh that's how it is or okay so it can't be done you know what i mean because there's times where i shit i you know what i mean i want to I won't give up too, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but I'm holding on. I'm I like this. I'm not give up every day. <laughs> yeah. I'm like this. I'm holding on like a pit bull. Like I, I'm like God. I ain't gonna let go till you bless me. Like for real. Like no, until no, you no, bless no. me and my family. Yes. Like I'm not coming off we're of trying. this shit. We're trying. Like, Look what we're doing. We're yeah. here. We're sitting Making here. Making shit happen. We're trying. We're trying yeah. every day. Every day. Yeah. Every day. Like we're here. You're here. This is us. Like not giving up. Not yeah, letting yeah. go of what could be and what. It can't be. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, this is what it is. And mm -hmm. thank you, God, for like yeah, yeah. not letting me give up. Because mm -hmm. every day I'm like, fuck this. For real, right? No, seriously. <laughs> 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 no, that's good. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. I love it. Yeah, yeah. Well, again, is there anything that you would want to share that you haven't shared? Um, Like what as far anything. as? Anything. I don't know. Um, Usually you know? it just comes out like this. Yeah, so, no, I mean, if you ask, there's yeah, not really, yeah, no, I mean, I, I, I'm like an open book. I put it out there. Like, I'm not ashamed. No, I'm, no, no. I am sure. who I am. What you guys get, what you get. You yep, know what I mean? I like, agree. So, yeah, there's not really. All right. I mean, if they wanted to know more, they can always hit me up. That's right, right. Because yeah. they're probably going to ask. They're probably going to ask. Why did you ask him? I was like, man, go, ahead. go message him, you know? Yeah, yeah. So. But. Again, thank you for coming on my channel. Hey, it was nice for real. You guys are great people. I thank really you. thank you for having me for no, real. Of course. And 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 you giving that platform to people like us, I think is super dope of you. Thank I think you. it's badass. I genuinely do. And thank you. And and, and I, I feel like I, I would like to do that somehow, some way, give back or give a voice to people that really yeah, are overlooked. Doing. You that's know what, what I mean? Doing, yeah. So so I, I that's why I I salute what you guys are doing. Thank you yeah, so yeah. much. Thank you. Mm. I mean I wish I was an artist. <laughs> yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah. I have a different kind. Right? You're painting pictures, your story, so you're an artist. Yeah. Huh, yeah. Okay. You see things that other people wouldn't see. That's what an artist does. Nice. Well, again, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you again, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and follow us on Instagram.